How's it going guys? Winter Kills here and welcome to episode 2 of the testing sessions. Uh, as you can see here, we're going to be taking uh, a dive into Block Dragon BA. Um, and uh, much like uh, we did in the first episodes of the testing sessions where we played Atlantean and Mermel. By the way, if you haven't seen that, uh, it should be annotated at the end of the video or up in the, uh, the top right of the video if you want to check that out. Uh, basically, the, 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 you know, to preface what this series is... I'll be here on EDO Pro or Project Ignis, the new and improved version of YGO Pro. Um, and just uh, playing some matches with the deck, some full matches. Uh, basically, a bit more, um, you know, interactive, I suppose, than a test hand video. And a bit more, uh, you know, analytical than a dual video, I suppose, where I can actually walk you guys through each individual step uh, I'm making. Um, basically evaluate my certain hands uh, and see what plays are possible with whatever deck I happen to be playing. Um, and I wanted to follow up Mermails with some Block Dragon BA. Um, but yeah, we're going to try to maybe get two uh, or three matches. We might only get two because um, this deck does combo off quite a bit and it is a bit longer uh, to combo off with. But um, we're going to go ahead and try to get into our first match here momentarily. Um, but I'll run you guys through the list. We have three Block Dragon, one Gizmek, one Giant Rex, three copies of Gigantes, one Fossil Dino, one Ferret, one Seer, one Psychic Tracker, two Mathematician, one Phoenix Rhino Warrior, two Gilosaurus, one Limbic Male Branch of the Burning Abyss, one Danger Suchinoko, one Leonis, one Edgem Sabres, one Graph, two copies of Tour Guide, Sangan, two copies of Defrag Dragon, one copy of Scrap Recycler, three copies of Gallus, one Wielder, uh, one Danger Jackalope, one Sierra Kyver, one Mecha Phantom Beast Line, one Recover, the new replacement for Glow Up Bulb, of course, one Dotscaper, one Seconds Light, and of course one Foolish Burial. Then we have Nat Beast and Girsu, uh, Levier, uh, Dante, Avermax, Boral Sword, two copies of Saryusha, one Appaloosa, one Blacklister Soldier, Soldier of Chaos, one Curious Light Sword Dominion, um, one Nightmare Phoenix, one Nightmare Cerberus, one Cherubini, and one Lingaribo. On the side, we have two Kamungus, three Ash Blossom, one Nightmare Griffin, three. Uh, copies of Dark Lunar No More, 3 Twin Twister, 2 Evenly Matched, and of course the all-powerful Imperial Order. Um, yeah, we're going to play some sided matches. Um, you know, best 2 out of 3, standard stuff. Uh, probably play 2 or 3 matches, depending on how long it takes. And uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and face off against our first opponent. Alright, so we've got our first opponent here, the Man, the Moth. Let's go ahead and see what we're going to end up playing against. We end up winning Die Roll, so that's great, obviously, with a going first deck like this. Um, very build a board heavy deck. We want to make sure we can go first, obviously, uh, to ensure the best of the best. All right, so with a hand like this, we're going to get started with Mathematician. It is unfortunate that we open Seer, but we probably can put that back into our deck later on. All right, so we're going to use Mathematician here to... We have a few options. Uh, we could either send uh, our O-Lion uh, to secure an easy uh, Cherubini, or if we're really concerned, uh, we can put this Seer back into our deck by sending off uh, Perseid Rhino Warrior to get access to Edgem Sabres, or we could just go directly for uh, the Edgem Sabres. Um, I think that's what I'm going to do, though. I'm going to send Rhino Warrior here as much as I would like to send Olion. Um, I'm going to do Rhino Warrior because I want to put back this uh, Seer into the deck if we can, and if everything goes south, um, we at least still have Defrag to discard Sea Archiver to hopefully go into Cherubini. Um, and go from there and then whatever you know we still have like a, a seer deck which can revive libic at worst um so we have that option there anyways if we want it uh so we're gonna go for the sabers as i said and now we're gonna link into cherubini that's usually the first uh step obviously you know burning abyss people like to say it's not really a burning abyss deck but like uh when the burning abyss engine is as prevalent as it is um, I would say it's pretty safe to say that you could call this in some facet a Burning Abyss deck because of how important the Burning Abyss engine is. You literally use it and go for it every single game, no matter the circumstance. Uh, you're really always going to try and go for it. Um, we're not going to summon this here because we want to get more value out of our Defrag Dragon by being able to discard it there. Um, we don't even need to revive it here just yet. I'm going to make Dante here. Um, and we're going to decide on what I want to detach here. Because um, this is one of those times where it's potentially crunch time, as I like to call it. Uh, where if we, don't, if we were not to detach the Seer here and we don't mill another extender, uh, we don't have a way to combo here. So like it's kind of whether or not you want to be greedy um, and you want to detach the Seer or keep the Seer underneath the Dante. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and use the Archiver here 100%. We have to. Um, and I'm also going to detach uh, the Seer also because... I don't want to take any chances um, to see, you know, if we milled anything good. 
And, uh, you know, luckily for us, we didn't uh, mill anything. Um, uh, we don't want to chain another card. We do want to. Yeah, I'm getting used to the new software here as well. Um, the chain operations are a bit different here than they were on YGO Pro, so I'm still having to learn them just a little bit. Um, so we did have to bring back the graph, which is unfortunate. That's something we don't always want to do, but you kind of got to take a look at your graveyard and see whether or not you're going to have the resources available um, to, like, after you detach uh, off your Dante, after you mill those cards, um, if you'll have another extender to get four monsters on board, four different monsters, of course, to be able to go into Saryuja, because um, that's sort of, like, the prerequisite to keep comboing. We do lose out on the Dante going to our hand, which is a bit unfortunate, um, but you can't have everything, I suppose. Drawn a Nessie here, which is pretty good, so we're going to go ahead and use Nessie while we have the most cards in our hand. Um, to sort of uh, increase its chances. The Nasty gets hit. What are you going to do? We're going to go grab Jackalope, though. Still play the three dangers. I used to play just two Jackalope, two Suchinoko, but ever since uh, the other dangers have gone to one, I think it makes uh, sense to at least, um, you know, add the Nasty back in. Uh, and we draw Sekka's Light. That is extremely good. So we're going to go ahead and slap that down on the board. ASAP Rocky, unless he has been, you know, holding a hand trap for this point. Um, which wouldn't be super surprising, especially if they know the deck well. Um, yeah, so they're going to hold the Ash here. I mean, that's not super surprising. Um, you know, saving the Ash either for, like, a powerful card like Block Dragon uh, or Sekka's Light is totally a reasonable thing. Um, so right now, we really don't have much to work with here, unfortunately. Um, the turn did not start very optimally without, you know, getting access to... Uh, you know, we would have a Dante on board right now if we didn't have to detach uh, the uh, the Seer. Um, but, you know, it's kind of like pick your poison. We either at least get somewhat into our combo or don't get anywhere at all. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use the effect of Sekka's Light in the graveyard. Like, we could use the effect of Saryu's here to special summon, um, but I'd rather see if we can top deck something like Rescue Ferret and um, just hope for the best. And we don't draw Rescue Ferret. We draw Fossil Dino. Um, so that's like, uh, that's still not the greatest either. Um, I'm going to summon Gizmek. I'm just trying to think there's a way, there's a reason, uh, to go for Gizmek here or not. Because with drawing the Fossil Dyna, um, we're pretty much dead in the water right now, unfortunately. Um, the Ash, of course, did hurt, uh, the subpar opening. Um, I think it would probably be best to either go for uh, a phoenix to co-link with the sorry just sort of keep it on the board um or we could just uh special summon the fossil dyna as is um which is also an unfortunate thing to have to do but i think that's i think that's what i'm just gonna do i'm just gonna bring out the fossil dyna right now and we have to pass our turn there sometimes this is the, the, like the last resort and you don't get to do full combo which is obviously not as fun um, when you end on something like this. Full combo is much more interesting, but you did save the Ash for the right time. Obviously, with us sort of chain link blocking everything else, um, we don't really give our opponent to have the opportunity to Ash until they see a card um, that's unprotected. That's also very powerful, like Sekka's Light, um, or like something like Block Dragon if you're not able to chain block. So it looks like we're actually playing against Rocket Guard Dragon here. I would assume it's Rocket Guard Dragon, because it usually is. Rocket Tracer with Boot Sector Launch, so that's pretty good. But we forced the Battle Phase, which is nice, which means we're not completely dead. Forcing Battle Phase is always great. That's one of the nice things about Fossil Dine. If you do happen uh, to have to resort to sort of what I would call like a Plan B play, um, you know, best case scenario, you're making them lose their Battle Phase. Um, which means you get another turn, essentially. Uh, so it looks like he's got Abso Router with Tracer too, which is actually not a bad opening at all. And he has Spheres, um, which I'm actually kind of glad I didn't bring out the Gizmek because we can save this for end phase now and use that pop sort of at the start of our turn if we draw into any good starter cards. Uh, drawing a new card like Tour Guide would be great. Drawing into Block Dragon would allow us to start comboing a lot. Um, but it's just a matter really what we draw. I mean, we have a pretty good chance of drawing Block Dragon. We didn't mill Block Dragon, um, but... I think we have time here while he begins to combo. Um, I just want to like clarify if I didn't fully do it already. Cause again, I, I apologize if my commentary is not the greatest, 
uh, and most entertaining while I'm trying to sort of like teach everything I'm doing in real time. Um, but when we had that opportunity, when we had the Cherubini with the Dante and the CR Kyver, we had already known that we had no extenders in our graveyard that were live. Um, and that if we would have detached um, the card that wasn't the Seer, milling three in hopes to get an additional extender. If we, if we would have done that and milled Block Dragon, um, or if we would have already had Block Dragon, I would have not detached the Seer. I would have never detached the Seer if we already have that fourth piece of the puzzle already in the graveyard to sort of complete our Saryuja. But I didn't want to take the chance, um, because I know for a fact if we were to detach the Seer at that point, um, you know, we, we, we would have uh, combo regardless, because we already have the Sea Archiver in play. And he is absolutely uh, popping off right now. So I might I might fast forward through his combo just a bit, um, unless a, a point of interaction comes up, um, because I don't want this to be like super solid. I mean, you guys already have to watch me solitaire enough as is. Um, but also, this is a time I guess I could I could mention that if you guys haven't already checked out Imperium Duel, so you want to help support the channel, uh, check out their website down in the description below. Use that discount code Winner Kill Ten Off. It allows you guys to get ten percent off everything on their site. Uh, their amazing playmat sleeves, dice, deck boxes, etc., etc., and it helps support the channel in the process. So if you do got some extra spending cash uh, in these tough times we are in currently, uh, feel free to use that code to help support me uh, in doing what I do. Same thing with that affiliate link to TCG Player down in the description below. If you guys use that link, uh, anything you buy off TCG Player, I will see receive a small portion of the revenue of that purchase. So it would go a long way to help support the channel at no extra cost to you guys. So consider checking that out. Um, but this looks like a very interesting uh, predicament he's in, though, right now. He just... Okay, I was going to say, I'd hope we have a way to get out of the, the Pisty, uh, LP situation there. But he does have the Dillingerous Dragon as well. Um, but yeah, at this point, probably just going to fast forward uh, through this combo unless uh, any sort of point of action comes up. And I, I think regardless, once we see Borlode Savage Dragon is going to be when we want to put up... Um, our Gizmec, because once the Savage Dragon comes out, uh, we're not going to have an opportunity. Which actually, Savage Dragon might come out uh, just in a moment here once he... Because he already has Rocket Tracer, so he just needs another level 4. And he has plenty of links in Grave. Unless he decides to link up and do a big Link 4 Dragon. If he wants to sacrifice the Spheres, I'm not entirely sure. All right, so he's using Quad Boral now. Um, discard a card, then sword face that monster. That you, you cannot special summon Link to a lower monster. Actually, that's return. Also, destroy that target monster. So, that's fine. Um, we'll let that go through. That's totally fine. We no need, we no need to chain a Gizmak there. I wouldn't, I'm just waiting for Savage Dragon if it's coming this turn, anyways. All right, so I think he's just about at the end of his combo here. He's gone into the Unchained Abomination, which is. Honestly, going to spell a lot of trouble for us here. And if he's making Savage Dragon right here, we're going to want to chain um, to the effect to equip uh, to bring out our uh, Gizmec. This is like, if I was in a real tournament, I would probably would have scooped already, but I'm just trying to play it out to the fullest here. Um, just to get all my, my thoughts and stuff out onto the table here. Uh, this isn't a real we're in a really bad spot he has seals of course uh the unchained abomination and uh savage dragon with three counters on also at 4200 so we're gonna have to just see um gonna pop the silver rocket silver rocket's gonna activate i don't even know what this card does to be totally honest looks like my extra deck is getting messed with so that's great it's great uh, the only force actually banish one card from it. So he gets to banish card from our extra deck. Okay. Um, I mean, at this point, I don't even really know what he would take that would make too big of a difference. Um, yeah, last link. Good pick. Good pick. Pretty good boss monster to go into sometimes. Um, that's why I think this card is so great in here, actually. Uh, because a lot of times you can just take random monsters that you have late game and just put them into the BLS link, and it really does save you sometimes. He's going to blow up our Unchained, or not our Unchained Abomination, he's going to blow up our Gizmac, but it is what it is. If we if we wait till like, all this stuff starts happening, you know, Moral Savage already has a counter on it, with, uh, or more, multiple counters on it, so there's really not a whole lot we can do, and he's still summoning things here in the end phase. Alright, so let's see what we draw. We draw a Defry Dragon, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and go into our next game here. 
there's a, not a whole lot we can do there. So, uh, with a deck like this, um, he knows we're playing combo. So, uh, the thing that I'm going to do is just side in the classic Imperial Order with the Nightmare Griffin. Uh, siding out Nat Beast, because we're obviously not going to be making Nat Beast. We're going to be making a better Nat Beast, if you will, of course, order. Uh, getting it back with the Nightmare Griffin. So, that's really all I'm going to side, because I know we're going to go first. And hopefully, uh, we don't have a very unfortunate opening, like we did, uh in that first game i mean it started out pretty great um we had to go for an early edge in play which i don't always like going for um but you know it is what it is right it is what it is all right so as i said we're gonna pick uh go first um 100 we open really good here um we have foolish burial danger jackalope so uh let's go ahead and set the foolish uh, my opponent's probably going to think this might be something like Imperial Order. If you see, I mean, if you see a deck like that, I mean, he saw us play Sekka's Light, so um, you might be a little curious as to what card we're setting in the Spell and Trap zone is all. Um, so we draw Sangan. That's really, really good. Um, I'm not even going to burn Foolish yet. We're just going to Normal Summon. Uh, drawing Sangan is great because uh, it's going to allow us to get, essentially, Gilosaurus to our hand. And it's going to turn off the downside of Gilosaurus, which is basically giving our opponent the opportunity to special summon from the grave. Because Gilosaurus, is, uh, where it says you can special summon this card from your hand, um, is not an effect per se. Uh, so Sangyan won't negate it. It's simply a summoning condition. Um, but the effect that is being negated, the effect that it cannot activate, is the one where it says your opponent can special summon a monster from the graveyard once we do, uh, if, it, if it is summoned that way. Um, so here, we're going to go ahead and use uh, Cherry Beanie. Um, I'm going to take a quick look at my graveyard by pressing F1. That is the, the shortcut to open up the grave, um, by the way, for those that are warning. I am going to dump Rhino Warrior here because we have open Block Dragon. I do want to have a little extra cushion as far as Earth Monsters are concerned in the graveyard. We'll follow that up by dumping the Graph. And again, I don't normally send Rhino Warrior. If we had opened, like, Tour Guide or Mathematician um, and, like, opened, like, a really, really solid hand, we had Plentiful Earths already in Grave or something, like, I probably wouldn't have... Uh, sent that I usually don't send it right if our if everything is looking you know pristine if you will because um, like I said I've said this in like test hand videos and stuff before uh, keeping that Rhino Warrior in deck is good because it allows you to sort of give you extra chances uh, at seeing uh, Edgem Sabers because it's basically an Edgem Sabers at that point in the game we're gonna mill three and uh, right now we have uh, essentially access to full combo so we already have Edgem Sabers in the grave so it kind of works out for us. Uh, we have, let's see, one, two, uh, we have three Earths, um, so we can basically start going off to the races, uh, as they say, at least as I say, anyways. Um, we'll banish these three, we'll keep that Gilosaurus in our hand. I'm gonna keep this Foolish set for about as long as I can, uh, and reason being is I wanna be able to sort of pick and choose what I send right now. I wanna see what everything is looking like, um, once we sort of exhaust this chain link here. And go through everything so um things to be careful for right here are certainly a few cards one being nibiru um although a nibiru at this point um won't be so impactful because we're resolving a massive floor chain link um but a card like infinite impermanence of course would be very hard hitting uh onto this saryuja but impermanence is a, a card that will hurt a lot in this sequence um granted i guess not so much because again we are resolving Block Dragon, Dante, and Seer, so we're in an okay spot. We also have a Foolish Burial still set, so it wouldn't be that big of a blow uh, in this current situation, but in general, when you're sort of doing this big chain block uh, with the Saryuja, Impermanence does hurt the most here. Uh, Nibiru, uh, again, in this hurt... Wow, we just drew Rescue Ferret. That is amazing. Um, so I'm going to put back the Seer 100%. That's the nice thing about Dante is it gives you basically a free card to recycle. Um, we already have a Block Dragon secured in Grave, so I'm going to put that back. Uh, and I'm also going to put back the Nessie because dangers at this point are more so of a, a burden uh, than anything. Um, but we have the Ferret. Uh, just checking our grave. I don't think we've seen any of the three cards, the three key cards that we want for Ferret. Um, which are uh, Giant Rex, Dotscaper, and uh, what would be Glow Ball, but Giant Rex, Dotscaper, and Recover at this point. Um, and he's going to go ahead into Biru here. Okay. Literally not expecting that, but... That is a 9,000 IQ point to Nibiru on the special summon effect, um, which to be totally honest, um, I think that's okay, actually. Um, 
I think that's actually okay, for the most part. It obviously does suck a little bit. Um, but if we can sort of make a Link monster here that we can resolve our Rescue Ferret with, that would be great. Um, we do have access to Foolish Burial, which is nice. So again, like I said, we can sort of pick and choose here what we want to get into the graveyard. So we're going to flip that up now. I think that is a good time, if any, uh, to go ahead and send a card like that to the grave. Um, I'm looking at O-Lion because that's going to give us a token. Um, but we can't link tokens and tokens into really anything. Um, we might just have to forego that whole play, which is unfortunate. Um, and again, we could still use... Uh, we could still use Rescue Fair to get a 1, a 2, and a 3 if we were to send something like um, like Dotscaper right now, uh, which I think would be good, a good idea. So let's send Dotscaper. We're not going to use Dotscaper's effect because we already have Block, Dragon, and Grave. Uh, so we're going to keep it sort of have as an extra summon uh, and also give us an extra Earth target for uh, Block Dragon. So we're going to keep the stuff in our hand uh, for hand advantage. Um, now at this point, we're pretty much safe. Uh, from any other hand trap that would really hurt us quite a bit. Um, because we, uh, we, we've been, we've been ashed, uh, already, I believe. I know we haven't been ashed, um, but we've been Nibiru'd. Um, and basically that's going to turn off impermanence, which is nice. Um, I really don't want to link all this stuff off here. Um, so I'm going to put back the Scrap Recycler to the top of the deck. I want to be able to make a Saryusha here, but also be able to resolve our Rescue Ferret. Um, we could make Curious here. Oh, it's very tempting, but I'm going to go for Saryusha. I'm going to keep uh, the Rescue Ferret on board. We're basically sort of just going back to where we were momentarily. That's going to go back. Uh, the Defrag Dragon we will keep with the Sea Archiver. That's really good. We'll put back the Block Dragon. Uh, then here we're going to go ahead and resolve the effect of this. Now that we're finally able to. Let's see. Let's have a look at what we can do now. Um, we can go for Recover. We can go for O-Lion. And we can go for uh, Sea Archiver. I think that's what we're going to do. I think that would probably be our best bet. Because, um, of course, that's going to total six. We're getting uh, basically three free monsters on top of this. Do we, oh, we already drew Sea Archiver. So that's fine. At this point, we can just get an additional Earth monster uh, to do whatever with. I'm going to go for Scrap Recycler because that only is an Earth. Um... But it's a card, if we do make Dingir, so we can reattach off it. Of course, everything we're summoning out is, uh, their effects are negated. Um, so it's not really too big of a deal. Um, to summon it out, obviously, for its effect, we're just getting it. So if we do banish it for, uh, you know, Block Dragon, uh, we can make, uh, you know, Gizm or, uh, Dingir, so reattach that. So, right now, we're gonna try to make, uh, Curious. Um, and we're gonna need another Earth Monster for that. We're not gonna need to make Nat Beast, which is, um... Pretty nice because that's a little bit of a weight off our shoulders uh so let's go ahead and make curious here with these three monsters we're gonna dump imperial order which uh i mean he's playing rocket so let's try to think at least what cards are we going to be turning off um you know we're turning off the uh, revolving or the, the the field spell mainly i forget the name exactly um we're gonna be turning that off uh we're gonna be turning off um Quick launch, which is huge. The card is absolutely insane. Um, any world uh, legacy guard dragon cards like that. Uh, let's see what we have here. We just have block dragons. We have sea archiver. Um, let's go ahead and link for nightmare griffin. Because um, we're going to want to go ahead and, and secure that play. We want to make sure we have a card to discard as well. Because I've forgotten that many a times. Uh, not having a discard. Um, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, it doesn't really matter what we're discarding here. We're going to reset uh, this. It would have been nice to have, uh, per se, the, uh, you know, defrag with uh, which hot Gallus. That's even better. Things just keep getting better. And I also just realized I clicked no to my O-Lion, um, which is fine for the most part. At least I'm saying it's fine anyways. I don't know if it's actually truly fine, but um, we're going to get Sea Archiver out of the grave too. This can allow us uh, potentially to make... Uh, Lingaribo, which is going to be nice. Um, but we want to make a Dingirsu right now, if at all possible. And we have, let's see how many Earths we have. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, we don't have too many Earths as it stands. Um, let's go ahead and make, because we can make Lingaribo, 
with uh, Dingirsu and then summon the uh, Fossil Dino, which I'm sure should uh, at least secure uh, the victory for us. We'll make that 600. Let's go ahead and special summon. Let's see here. We'll go ahead and hmm, banish this, banish this, and banish this. We'll summon that out. And let's see what we have engraved. We have one earth, two earth. We have three more earths that are not the fossil dina in our hand. Most importantly, uh, we're going to banish recover here, but we didn't really need recover even as an extender in this hand. Um, the Gauss is just kind of chilling there, admittedly. But it's all right. Just extra cards to swing into our opponent with next turn, I suppose. We're going to attach in a material here. Um... Which is going to be the Scrap Recycler. And then last but not least, we'll use the Saryuja uh, to bring back the Fossil Dina to the board. So that is through Nibiru. Full combo still. Um, we're going to leave the Always Chain button on. I'm not going to chain uh, immediately in the standby phase. I'm just going to wait until the, uh, the first opportunity presents itself here. Um, we're safe from Super Poly uh, because we have uh, Fossil Dina. So we don't need to worry about that. Um, so we're, we're pretty much safe on all fronts here. We're safe from evenly matched because we have Ling Daribo. Um, even if he does go into the battle phase to try and crash something, which he can't even do right now, because uh, everything we have is under 3k, so that's really nice. Um, but yeah, this is a pretty solid board, and I would imagine that he's probably going to scoop here momentarily, unless he has raw sphere mode, um, which would be, uh, that'd be pretty hard pressed to hit. I mean, if you have, if they have raw sphere mode, if they have Nibiru and raw sphere mode, then they, then they have it, and you just kind of got to give it to them at that point, but we have Imperial Order. We have Lingaribo. We have Dingir, so with three materials, most importantly. We have our Fossil Dina, and I think we are just chilling, so it's really just sort of our uh, opponent at this point. It's up to them what they want to do. So, he's normal summoning Rocket Tracer, so when, he, when, when the opponent actually keeps playing here, it actually kind of makes me get a little anxious, because I'm kind of like worried, like, what are they... What, what, what kind of stuff are they scheming here? Um... So yeah, that's fine. He can normal summon Rocket Tracer. Um, and it looks like he's going to go into the battle phase here and probably punch into the Fossil Dyna. But we'll be able to detach twice and we'll still have a third detach. Uh, so he's going to need four ways of destruction. Um, he's going to need to de attempt to destroy that Fossil Dyna four times. Um, but he's going to go for Lingaribo here, interestingly enough. Um... That's also an interesting play. Hmm. Do we want to protect? Hmm. This is court. This is a little bit of a little bit of big, a little bit of big brain plays being made here. Um. Because again, the only thing we're gonna be hurt by here is evenly matched. I do not want to make evenly matched live. Um. Not that I want to make it live. I just don't want it to. I want to have a way to uh, interrupt it. Um. So we'll detach there. That's fine. We'll detach. <clears throat> and if this is just a smoke screen, then it's just a smoke screen. Um, and we'll still, even after this, we'll still have a way to protect our fossil dyna. Once, because we detached that scrap recycler. Um, and like I said, a lot, a lot of people, I think, had questions about um, why I play two mathematician and one scrap recycler. It's like, in my opinion, they're all the same. Like, they're both the same card as far as starting your combo is concerned. They both can send... O Lion, which gets you the level 3 token, which gets you into Cherubini. They're both Earth, um, level 3, obviously. Um, but the thing with Scrap Recycler is it has a lot more. It has. You, it doesn't have as much utility overall as, uh, you know, a card like Mathematician does. And this will be the perfect time to chain on the activation to, of a spell that he has. Um, but um, it, it does a lot of things that Mathematician doesn't. It can be special summoned um, off of Star Usion. Its effect can actually activate. Um, which is pretty important. Um, but at this point, um, I am in a bit of a predicament here, uh, because we have essentially no way to get over the Nibiru, um, which, uh, may seem like a bit of a problem and it may seem like a bit of a problem because it is a bit of a problem. Um, so what we might need to do is actually... As bad as it sounds, is crash our rocket tracer 
uh, into or crash our fossil dyna into the rocket tracer um, and then possibly make a way to make levier main phase two um, maybe get a car like Appaloosa on board or Avermax. Uh, so that's what I think I'm gonna do here actually um, because we need to we need to get out of this position that we're in which is uh, not being able to special summon because as it stands next turn you can just attack attack and then start to slowly clear away our field um, because at that point he won't be under the restriction uh, fossil dinosaur so we're gonna clear that off our own field right now uh, which is fine and we're just gonna go main phase two uh, i just want to read this card real quick um target one phase of card controls uh, to make sure this card doesn't do anything if it is destroyed um which i don't think it does so we're just gonna run over it with dengirsu make sure he takes that thousand damage get as much stuff done as we can in the battle phase um now we're gonna head into main phase two um and just sort of evaluate what we have. We're going to use our Gallus. And we're going to mill that for three or six. Um, we can link these off here. Uh, the Lingaribo. Um, or we can link off the Dingirsu. But we kind of have to keep the Dingirsu here. Um, we haven't normal summoned yet. Uh, yeah, we haven't normal summoned. Um, so we could potentially... Hmm, where is our C Archiver at currently? Our sea archiver is banished okay um we just need a way to clear the nibiru because if we clear nibiru uh there's not going to be a lot he can do um and the only thing i'm thinking of right now is linking for cerberus uh with the nightmare griffin um and the saryuja because having griffin and fossil Dina is sort of like counterproductive um, I just wish there was a way for us to get a draw off of this, essentially. Uh, but I really don't want to link off the Lingaribo, kind of, because that's kind of, like, scaring me that he was trying to get over it. Um, maybe he's just going for most damage, I suppose. Um, I, I, I mean, I kind of want to call his bluff here. Um, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. This is probably, this is probably not the best idea here. Um... But at least we'll get a card back in the process. So let's see. And if he has impermanence at this point, um, if he really wants to keep the Nibiru, we draw into another Gallus. That is hilarious. Um, which, okay, so he's using Brotar. That's fine. But the fact that we got another Gal, the fact that we got Gallus to our hand is pretty nice. Um, so we can like burn him again. Um, or we could summon a block dragon from our graveyard if we have enough material. Uh, link off our Saryuja and uh, the block dragon and discard the Gallus to pop his set back row um, to draw another card and then also make an Avermax. And it's fine that he can add Levineer. So long as we can keep uh, a rank 3 going, uh, we'll be fine. So let's see how many Earths we have in grave. We have Fossil Dyna, which we do need to banish. We have an extra block dragon. Um... And unfortunately, we don't have any other Earths. Um, hmm. Yeah, we just have Fossil Dina, we have a Block Dragon, and we'd have to... Unfortunately... Well, no, we would get a card back off of... Uh, we would get a card back off our Block Dragon, I believe. If we still have a, if we still have a Search Target. I, I think we still have a Search Target. Um, but we're... we're eh, this isn't... Uh, it's fine. I think, I think in the end it'll be worth it here just to have Avermax. Avermax will be very, very uh, important to have here. And we also get an extra block dragon out of it too, which is nice. Make uh, Avermax with these two. And then we're going to... We already banished Fossil Dina, which is nice. We know it's in his hand, so we're not worried about Nibiru. Uh, so let's go ahead and make Levier right here. Um, let me see what's engraved. We have one, two, we have three more Earths engraved, so if we really wanted to, we could summon Block Dragon again. Um, just to have protection from, uh, destruction, but we still have Dengirsu. So I think that's fine. With one Protect. Uh, which is a little risky. Um, but we don't know what a set card is. He has a, essentially a dead card in his hand that he can't use. Um, so we're just gonna pass there and see if it's, uh, if it's enough, so. 
And if he's able to get anything big on board, we have Avermax, which can deal with pretty much anything. So we'll see what happens here. Really just up to whatever he top decked, which is kind of uh, anxiety inducing, but we'll see. And he has impermanence. That's just unfortunate. That's just unfortunate. I knew, oh man, I would just, I definitely misplayed then because this is, hindsight is 2020. Um, that's really unfortunate. Hindsight is 2020. Uh, but we could have uh, linked off, per se, the Dingirsu uh, and the Saryuja just to make Phoenix to pop that back row. Uh, because we were still going to make Avermax regardless, which would have gave us protection in the battle phase. Um, and then we could have brought Block Dragon back later on, uh, probably because I think we would have had an extra Earth in our graveyard by way of the... Uh, the What is it? The, the Scrap Recycler, but... Oh boy, this is unfortunate. I mean, granted, this still might be pretty hard for him to break. Uh, because this will destroy cards if, if that's the effect that he's using. And we still have a uh, material underneath the Gearsu, so we're gonna we're gonna definitely use that. Um We're definitely gonna use that here. But the thing is, we do have to be mindful that we're gonna take 1200 damage at most. Well, no, we're not. We have Avermax. Um, he can only take Avermax, but oh man, this is this is this is a nail biter right here, man. I'd be lying if I said it wasn't. This is a bit of a nail biter for me. That's fine. He can go ahead and Dragoonity. He can get a field spell that he can't use. <clears throat> That's what he's. I believe it's searching. Yeah, Dragon's Ravine. This is this is a nerve wracking duel. This is a nerve wracking duel right here, ladies and gentlemen. I am on the edge of my seat. And we, okay. So, at the end of the day, it was still enough that we had Avermax, uh, and the Ding Protect was nice, with Order, too. So, at, it was still enough, but very, very easily could have been not enough. Um, and I think the better play would have been to forego the Dingirsu, and, like, because that back row was so suspicious. We should have linked off the Saryuja and the Dingirsu, ditched the Gallus, popped that. We'd have had a Coling draw off it anyways, uh, and then link for Avermax, and then I think we still would have had a way to make Levi or Levier. Uh, we probably would have had an additional way to, to make Block Dragon um, and just have, you know, this, essentially the same board. Um, but yeah, so we're going to go into game three now. And uh, I can only imagine we're going to be going second because uh, like um, us, he is playing a combo deck, a pretty good combo deck. So uh, I'm just going to go Triple Ash, uh, Double Kamungus, Triple D Ruler. Uh, I'm going to side out the Danger Engine here. I do not want that uh, in here. I'm going to keep all the Galluses in. Uh, I'm going to side out one of these. I'm going to side out a Sangan and Rescue Ferret as well. That's usually my go-to side deck cards to go out. Uh, I think that's pretty good. Um, I'm going to put Nat Beast back in. I'm going to take Nightmare Griffin out as well. Almost forgot that I believe everything is looking dandy there. So um, this is just, this is a, this is a call. This is a call, if anything. Um... Yeah, it could have been a, a big brain call, like if he would have made us go first because he thinks that, you know, he's going to go first, etc., etc. You know, we're going to be putting in a bunch of going second cards, so. Um, but it looks like he has combo. Safer Dragon is a hell of a card. Um, so he might have full combo, but our hand is less than optimal. We do have Dark Ruler no more. The two cards we don't want to see are Falcidina and Graph, but um, really just going to have to see um, where his combo leads to. I don't know. I don't know Rocket uh, Guard Dragon well enough to know what, like, like represents as, like, full combo, but we'll just have to wait and see. It's a Dark Ruler No More in our hand. It pretty much is, can, like, trivialize whatever our next play is going to be uh, to just OTK or bust. Well, we're, well, we're not going to be able to OTK because of Dark Ruler's other, you know, restriction it has on it, but a pseudo OTK. Because we do have Fossilina. So if we're able to clear the board uh, and we're able to get Fossilina on the field some way, um, that can essentially just be a pseudo lockout um, and just win from there. Uh, you know, even if it is just poking with like a Saryuja and a Fossilina, it's just like a death by a thousand cuts, whatever it may be, or um, an Avermax uh, and a Fossilina or whatever. Um, just gotta find some way to get there. As it stands, the farthest we can get with our combo. Um, is Psychic Wielder, uh, or Normaling Edge Imp, 
spatuling psychic wielder making the cherubini and then most importantly uh i would say before we even use cherubini he's using sabers to put back graph and then using cherubini to send uh send graph uh to send uh or summon seer make dante mill three and see where we are from there but we just really need we need like one more level three extender um or drawing block dragon would be really good. It's just the fact that we drew graph is just so not not good. Um, which I know in a burning abyss deck, like graph is a pretty good card, right? But in this particular situation, graph not too. I mean, graph would be very very good if we drew a libic for turn. Um, if we drew libic for turn, like that being the only other ba that we'd want to draw realistically would be nice. Um, drawing libic would be nice because we get normal graph special seer, or, uh, normal graph special libic, make cherubini get the seer. Get a free send essentially off of our Cherubini then, because we already have Graph activating for Seer. Um, but yeah, you get you you get the gist at this point basically. So we're just gonna fast forward to this combo. We're just gonna zoom zoom. All right, so we're finally here at the end of the combo, and this is the typical ending board with his deck, which is the Savage Dragon uh, with a miscellaneous amount of counters. And he gets to banish a card from our extra deck, which is pretty important. Um, I didn't even think about that, to be totally honest. Um, we get sort of a say in how our combo is going to turn out. And yeah, obviously you're going to go for the Cherubini, 100%. Um, but we have Dark Ruler, so we can sort of manipulate this entire board uh, to our liking. Which is good. Very, very good. But again, same thing applies to what I was saying earlier. We need to draw a good extender. And that is not one of them. Uh, that is unfortunate. That is very unfortunate to see Ash Blossom right here. Oh boy. Um, we gotta slap Dark Lure now. no more down on the board. Um, now, this is... I don't know if this is uh, correct ruling. I don't know if the card equipped to Savage Dragon should still say, stay. Um... Because of the way the cards are worded, I have no idea. Um, that might just be a bug on behalf of YGO Pro. I'm not entirely sure. Now, one thing's for certain. Uh, our play does change up quite a bit here. Um, like, we can't go into Cherubini anymore because he just gets to banish a free card in our extra deck. Um, because why not? But what we can do is still normal summon this and special summon this. And uh, make Dante, because making Dante is fun, I heard. Uh, so let's do that. We'll put Dante in attack, because why not? We're going to detach the edge imp, because why not? We mill Rhino Warrior, which is really good. Rhino Warrior can get us access to Libic, we can, which can get this graph on board. Uh, and we can try to start piecing together something that looks like a combo, I guess. Um, so we're going to summon or send Libic. And Libic will activate, of course. We'll get this graph on the field. Um, which, I mean, the only hand trap I'm really worried about right now from him having is, like, either Nibiru or Ash. Um, Nibiru would probably just outright seal the game. Um, we can edge imp here, but I don't think we really need to. We already had to burn our normal summon, so, like, the Fossil Dino play is just kind of not that great. Um... Hmm. What can we even make here that would be... We need something very impactful. We need something like uh, BLS Link, <clears throat> which would probably be the, our best thing to get right now. But I don't know if we can get it necessarily. Hmm. Gotta think long and hard about this one. Should I think there's any way we can get into, like, Curious? If we can get into Curious, we'd be in a really good spot. Um, we just don't have, like, a Dark Monster. We're one Dark Monster short. We don't have any Dark Monsters in the extra deck that we can easily access. Oh, we can't make Lingaribo because we don't have any Cyberses. Can't make, uh... Yeah, that's that's really it. We have no other Dark Monsters. I mean, Boral Sword's one of them, but... Probably not going to be able to get into Boral Sword here, to be totally honest. Uh, let's go ahead and... Edgem Sabers, man. I really don't want to Edgem Sabers. But we're going to do it anyways. We're going to edge him sabers anyways, I suppose. Now, what we could do is is make uh, the BLS link um, 
here. Um, but I do want to make Cerberus. We need to clear as much off of his field as, like, humanly possible. Uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead and link these two off. Do this, chain link one, which that. We'll go ahead and clear this. Yes, we'll activate Dante. Add this back. And then we can make Phoenix. There's just really nothing we can do, man. We'll use Graph to get Seer. That will self-destruct for Dante. Which doesn't get us a whole lot. Yeah, I don't really think... I don't. I, I thought maybe there was something we could do. Like I said, we make we either make the BLS link, run over something, and banish something, and he gets over it next turn. Uh, but there's just not much we can do. Him hitting the Cherubini is uh, probably and is uh, most likely the nail in the coffin for this one. But it was a good game nonetheless. But it was, it was a good game, I think. Uh, it's a combo dice roll matchup, so like whoever gets to go first probably going to win for the most part um, But yeah, so that was not too bad of a game We're gonna go ahead and try to find uh, another game Which will probably also be our last game for uh, this video because this video is probably going very long as is all right So we've got our next opponent here. This is gonna be the last match for this video as I don't want it to go too terribly It's probably already. I mean, I've already been recording uh, for an hour at this point, so I don't know how long this video is going to be, and these videos in general are probably going to be much longer format. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Do um, you guys want these to be uh, longer videos? Um, I, I guess it really is deck depending. Um, it looks like we're actually going to be playing against some Salad Man Great, uh, which is great. Um, not so great, actually. But I mean, we're going second here, which is uh, not too bad. Our hand is pretty good. Um, Opening a danger with a handful of, like, uh, you know, good extenders is always nice, because most of your extenders, for the most part, uh, can be used in Grave. Um, cards like Giant Rex, uh, Dotscaper, uh, Recover, Block Dragon, all that stuff, Sea Archiver, um, they all have good value in the Grave, and you put them into the Grave off of, like, a card like Tujinoko, which gets you a 3 on board, gets you a draw, um, it's all just very, very nice and convenient. Um, but, I, Salad is... Salad is still a very good deck. Um, I think it just loses consistency in terms of like how good of a board it's able to put out every game. But he did open uh, Gazelle, which is... Uh, I mean, he opened Circle, but basically Gazelle. Five copies of Gazelle. Eight copies of Gazelle, right? Technically. Three Cyanet Mining, three Debug, and then um, the one Circle and the Gazelle itself. So many Gazelles, by the way. Um... It almost makes, like, Gazelle being at one itself, like, not that big of a deal. Now, I mean, I get that hard-drawing Gazelle is much different than, like, seeing Lady Debug. Um, but you get what I'm saying. So we're just going to go ahead and fast-forward through this combo here. So, interestingly enough here, we actually have an opportunity to use our Sea Archiver on that summon. And I'm actually going to, because that's going to give us a pretty big heads-up into this matchup. Um... For a few reasons. One, allow us to hard make Lingaribo. Um, also give us a head start on to our, uh, our plays that we want to make happen. So if he does have a way to get rid of it, which I don't really see because Mirage Daily is not a thing, but we'll just have to wait and see, I guess. All right, so we know he has a copy of Roar set because he just added it back and set it. And we draw a tour guide for turn, which is absolutely bonkers. So... His graveyard is not looking too great, so I think the first thing I'm going to do is link right off into Lingaribo, and we're going to put it right here, um, just because he gave us the opportunity to get a free zone, essentially, and this Lingaribo is going to allow us to turn off that card that he has set, which we know what it is. Um, he can recycle Sunlight Wolf, that's entirely fine, but we're going to normal summon this. If he has a hand trap, he has a hand trap. We have the tracker to follow up. We also have Suchinoko to attempt to follow up as well. Main thing is, though, we're able to turn off that Roar um, at least have a card to stop the roar, essentially. Um, so there's the roar, as you would expect. <laughs> Let 
Why did I think I could stop a counter trap? That is completely my bad. All right, well, let's just continue to combo here. All right, so he hits the Giant Rex. That's actually really, really, uh, really convenient for us. Um, I don't know why I just short-circuited in my brain right there. My brain just completely short-circuited. I'm not even cutting that out. That's staying in 100%. I don't even know. I don't even know what I was thinking. I really don't know. I could not tell you 100%. Uh, I mean, at this point, we can try to OTK. Uh, that's really all we can try. Um, or we can try to make Curious here, because we have two darks as is, and a way to get a third. Um, so I think we might try that. So let's go ahead and send, uh, we don't need to send the, uh, Rhino Warrior here. I'm just gonna send Graf. And Graf is gonna, uh, summon Seer. We don't need this Link Karibo anymore at this point. I don't know why I was thinking. I guess I just thought Link Karibo negates any traps, but that's a counter trap, so we can't obviously respond unless we have a counter trap of our own. That's Yu-Gi-Oh 101. Um, again, my apologies. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and make Curious here. I see no other option. I see no better option anyways. Um, we're going to activate Curious, and we're also going to activate Sierra's Chainlink 2. <clears throat> we'll add back that. Or no, oh, I just clicked the wrong card. Would have much rather to summon back Cherubini, but I guess we're summoning Graf now, so that's fine. I'm going to dump Block Dragon to the grave. It's also very late at night when I'm filming this, so I do apologize. Um, my, my, my apologies. Mill Dot Scaper, we're not going to use its effect. Um, because we don't, uh, we want to keep engraved because if we can engrave, it's an extra earth thrust to banish it. It's also just going to get summoned out, uh, be its own effect once we banish it. Um, so here, let's go ahead and summon this block dragon by banishing, uh, we don't have much options here, I guess. Um, banish the recover, because we don't need that. The dotscaper and the tracker. That'll give us block dragon. We'll use dotscaper. Just trying to think of a way we can just OTK out right here, which I think we can. So long as he doesn't have Nibiru. He has Nibiru, he has Nibiru. Um, the main decked Nibiru. But my plan right now... Um, we also have a Dengir soon, Grave. I didn't even notice that. But let's summon this. We'll banish the Giant Rex. And Giant Rex, of course, will summon itself. And uh, we're going to keep... We're going to keep the Block Dragon on the field because we don't want to worry about a DD Crow right now if we don't have to. Taking out one of our most valuable cards. That, there we go. So now we're just going to head into battle phase. We still have Gizmak and Grave too. So keep that in mind. If he has Nibiru, then it must be nice. He has Nibiru. <laughs> oh boy. Um. Yeah, he's got it. He's got it. Really not much you can do there. I mean, we're still not completely out of the woods, though, I suppose. I believe we'll get Block Dragon's effect here. Kind of nice, because we can search out Fossil Dyna. Um, and he also has a Gazelle. Must be nice. Well, we know he had Gazelle. So far, this, t this game has played out absolutely great. <laughs> it has played out absolutely great. I'm not even that mad. I'm not even that mad. We're just... We're just Having fun over here. We got a 10,000 attack token, which I don't know how he's dealing with. Um, but who knows? Who knows? We need a way. We need a way to get our fossil dino back on the field, and also have a way to protect from battle and destruction by card effects. That is what we need, and a way to also clear his Nibiru, which is a lot to ask for. It's a lot on the table. A lot of things to cross off to try to win this game. Um, but we'll see. We'll see if we can make it happen. I'm a little doubtful right now. Just a little. We still haven't gone into the battle phase yet. Uh, so that's something we still we still have at our disposal. So the BLS link is something I'm looking at making right now. Um, specifically because that card will be a very hard card for his deck to out. Um, we have one, two, three... We only have three Earths and Graves. Our Earth count has been very low these past these these, these games, anyways. Um, and if we want to make the BLS link, uh, we're gonna have to forego the Fossil Dine in our hand. We're gonna have to summon 
the Gigantes by banishing uh, the Dotscapers, as bad as that is. And also, um, banishing the Fossil Diner at hand. We just kind of, this is, this is what we have to do right now. This is our last resort, uh, at this point. It's our Spiral Last Resort. Link all those off, fortunately. We're going to the battle phase. We have Dengirsu, or not Dengirsu, I keep calling it Dengirsu. I'm just so used to it, always making Dengirsu. Um, well, let's go into the battle phase. Let's clear the Gazelle. And, uh... I don't want to banish the Nibiru. But the simple fact of the matter is that we... He has the Balinx. I apologize. How badly I am playing right now. Um... Yeah, that's all we that's really all we can do. That's really all we can do, boys. That's really all we can do. Uh, the transcode talk to play with the update jammer um, yeah this is rough uh, we might be taking the L here I made some pretty bad plays I still can't believe I thought Lingaribo would protect us from a counter trap uh, alongside a few other uh, mishaps as well but I don't really think we're coming back from this one um, I mean we we have access to uh Block Dragon and a Gizmec. That's really all we have access to. Um, which will allow us to get into Dengirsu, which is nice. But we know he has Rage. We saw him add that back uh, when I was fast forwarding, so it doesn't make too big of a difference. So we're just going to go ahead and get this game too. Um, at least for this particular matchup, again, I'm probably just going to be siding in the same old song and dance the imperial order with nightmare griffin i think that is still pretty strong against this particular deck um and as far as anything else is concerned um i don't want to remove too many combo pieces from our deck um i think twin twister is still not like good enough against this deck there's not really that much value out of it um especially if we're going to be going first uh ash blossom might be the only other card that i might side in here but then again like i don't see it being more valuable than any other combo piece we have right now um, it's not gonna stop Ash, or uh, it's not gonna stop Nibiru, um, so there's really no point in putting it in. So I think we'll just stick with the tried and true, uh, Nightmare Griffin, Imperial Order, um, and go first, as we always will try to. Um, and if we end up going to game three, it's gonna be we're going second, and we're gonna put in twins, we're gonna put in Evenlies, we're gonna put in Ash, and we're gonna see um, if we can't go for a game. Like we 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 basically had game there, and he just. He had the Nibiru. I mean, I could have had 9 billion IQ and made Appaloosa there with four materials. Um, I suppose that would have been the safer route. Um, again, hindsight is 20 20. I would say it a thousand times. But going for the Appa with four materials probably would have been the safer bet. Absolutely would have been the safer bet. But then again, um, it's just weird with Salmon Great because the deck is so good and has so many avenues uh, to be able to make plays. So, like, if you, if you don't completely shut them down in one turn i feel like the deck does linger on and it just gets harder and harder to beat um but that might just because i'm bad at the game uh, but we'll see uh we milled the defrag dragon off the gallus it's not too bad we're, we're gonna have to be forced to normal summon uh sierra kyber which sucks very low impact normal summon doesn't do us a whole lot but at least it gets us another extender later down the road um the thing here at least in this particular matchup we have a cherubini to start our turn off with Gonna get an extra earth and graveyard by dumping the rhino warrior here as well for our block dragon we open rescue ferret which is huge in this particular matchup um we open dotscaper but we can put dotscaper back off of saryuja if we're able to at least get that far um which i don't think we will be because i think we're gonna have to at least summon uh this dotscaper um with uh because we're gonna have to summon it via banishing the, uh, for this block dragon here unless we mill a really good extender off of this dante something like uh Edgem Sabres would be nice here. Uh, O-Lion would be nice here. So let's see what we get. Um, we don't mill any level 3 extenders. Or any extenders, period. Uh, so this is going to force us to banish uh, the Dotscaper. Which is something I didn't want to do. 
But I'm still going to keep the Rescue Ferret in hand, uh, because Rescue Ferret is still Rescue Ferret. Card is absolutely absurd at the end of the day. We can not, we're, we won't be able to tutor out everything we exactly wanted to tutor out, um, but we'll still be able to get access to most of the cards we wanted, which is fine at the end of the day. Uh, so let's go ahead and link all those off. And we'll assemble our four chain link chain. Uh, then we'll use Block Dragon 2. It, it, like, it doesn't matter what the chain link here is, so long as that Dante is the last chain link. You want uh, Dante uh, to protect everything else in the chain. Uh, you don't want your, uh, you know, your Block Dragon where your Saryu should be able to get Ash. So that's one important thing. You want to be at least chain block your, uh, <clears throat> your Block Dragon. So the chain link matters in that situation, but, you know, as far as everything else is concerned, it doesn't really make too big a difference. Whether you do, like, Seer first, then Block Dragon, or Block Dragon, then Seer. Uh, we drew a lot of good Yu-Gi-Oh cards there, so that's nice. Uh, we're going to put that back. We're going to put back Block Dragon, and I'm going to put back uh, the Leonis. Um, and then we're going to use Saryuja here. We'll go for Rescue Ferret. Now, we're not going for... Um, we're not going for Nat Beast here, so we don't really need uh, complete and total access uh, to... Uh, I'm completely drawing a blank. We don't need complete and total access to recover here, but I'm still going to get it because it's an Earth. Um, and I'm also going to get access to uh, Scrap Recycler, because uh, that will give us a, a potential reattached target for Dengirsu, and it's also going to help us make Curious here a little easier uh, without having to discard too much. Splash some of that for free. One of the main reasons I wanted to get rid of the, uh, the Leonis is because I knew we wouldn't have any zones available once we uh, resolved the... Um, well, this is a Psychic, isn't it? Well, that makes things awkward. We don't really need the Saryuja, though, here anymore. But we low-key kind of do need the Saryuja. Um, so what I'm actually going to do here is make Nightmare Cerberus with these two. We'll most definitely get our token. Because why not? Tokens are nice. That'll also help us make Cerberus easier, I guess. Or not Cerberus, uh, Griffin, my apologies. Fumbling all over my words. But now we have three different types. Uh, we're going to use Curious here. Of course, we're going to get Imperial Order. Um, I mean, not that like Imperial Order is so good against Salmon Great as like a major win con. Um, we're just worried about stopping uh, very, very potent side deck cards here. Uh, I think at the end of the day, that's really what we're going after. Uh, so we'll special summon this. We're going to make another uh, Saryuja here. And uh, we're still going to be able to get access to... That's Avermax. We don't want to make Avermax. We want to make Saryuja. Um, we want, I like keeping the Curious, if at all possible, because it makes it very... We only need one other monster on board to be able to get into Gryphon. Um, so it, it, it makes it very easy for us at this point. So just keeping that Link 3 on the field. Then, of course, we're going to chain link block our Saryuja. We're going to add back the Graph, because that'll give us a free card to put back in our hand. Don't want to add back Cherubini unless you absolutely have to. So these BAs are just going to go back in the deck very easily. Um, I'll put Sangan back in the deck, because uh, that's not going to do us too much right now. Um, we'll special summon this. We'll banish that. And we're going to make uh, the Nightmare Griffin. And we can actually discard uh, the... What's it called? Uh, the Jackalope here. For the Griffin, and I, I believe it'll get its effect. It does say discard. We're going to reset. We'll draw. Which is great, unless he has a card he wants to use here. Not sure. You never know exactly when people are going to use their hand traps. So we do get to use Jackalope, which is great. We're going to summon out Snack. Uh, so then we need to sort of figure out what, what else do we need to do here. Um, we need a way to get Fossil Dina born. We need a way to protect Fossil Dina. That's our biggest... Uh, thing we have block dragon um we don't have gizmaka rochi though in our graveyard so i believe we're gonna try to f at least need to make a i uh, have a way to make uh avermax here if at all possible and i think we will be able to because we have we have recover live uh, in the grave um so what we're gonna do is use essentially block dragon as our reoccurring link fodder but we already had to make uh, Cerberus early on, so we do have to have a bit of a compromise here. Um, hmm. Well, we could make the BLS link, 
And uh, by summoning Recover right now, linking off the Nightmare Phoenix, or the Nightmare Griffin, um, and then going that direction, uh, because again, if we, like if we have Fossil Dynamo board, the Griffin doesn't add too much. Like, the Griffin is just overkill at that point. Um, we really just needed to get back the, uh, the Imperial Order. So I'm just going to go for this. We're going to make the BLS link. As much as I hate making BLS link right now, um, the, 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 the emphasis on having, uh, protection for Fossil Dyna is absolutely paramount right now. That is 100% priority number one. Um, so we need that. We need to summon Block Dragon again one more time. Uh, because that will offer protection from uh, destruction by card effects. Uh, yes, we have battle, which is great, but we need everything else that comes along with the full combo. So we get that. And then we're going to use Saryuja here. He doesn't have Nibiru right here in the very last moment, which is honestly not a bad time to Nibiru. It's right at the very, very end. Um, but yeah, we have Fossil Dine, we have Avermax, we have Block Dragon, we have Imperial Order. I think we are good. We're going to leave... The always chain button on um, just because I'm paranoid but we mainly want it yeah so that's that's that so we're going to a game three so hopefully we uh we get uh, some good luck here <laughs> we're gonna put uh we're gonna take out the griffin order combo here because uh we're not going first we're definitely not going first here um which means I need to put back Nat Beast in evenly match is going in Ash Blossom is going in 100% Dark Lure no more, not really too effective against this particular match. I'm also going to do Double Twin. Um, that might seem a bit excessive uh, for Spells and Traps for Gallus, but I don't really see it as being too excessive. Uh, we're definitely setting out Sangan. Um, we can side out a Nessie here and a Jackalope. I think leaving just Snake in is fine because the Snake doesn't require any other danger to be able to be activated. Uh, we'll side out a Gilasaurus. We'll side out a Rescue Ferret. And we'll side out a Defrag Dragon. I think that is pretty okay as far as things are concerned. Um, we're definitely going to be going second. Uh, 100%. And if we go first, we go first. Uh, then, then, we, then we get big brain. And I'm glad I at least drew one side deck card. Because uh, usually I don't draw side deck cards ever. Um, if you watch my stream, you'll know that I, like, I never draw my side deck cards. It just doesn't happen. Um, but Twin Twister is okay, I guess. Uh, it'll force out one back row, I guess. I mean, let's just see how long his combo lasts this turn. I don't know. Maybe he drew the stones. Maybe he didn't. All right. So his turn actually didn't result in too much, uh, to be totally honest. Um, and he has two back row, which is just conveniently enough for us. Fits like a glove with our Twin Twister. Um... That's exactly what I'm going to use. We're going to twin right off the bat. Uh, I don't want to... I mean, I want to I want to discard Dotscaper here. We're not going to use Dotscaper's effect, though. Because, again, we want to leave it uh, to be able to allow us to summon our Gigantes and also get a card out of our grave. So, we force the Roar, which is nice. Uh, we're not going to use Dotscaper. And if he has a card here, he has a card here. So, let's see. Let's see what happens. I mean, the only other card I'd be worried about right now would be uh, potentially... He has Rage. If he does have Rage, he's only raging for one. Um, Imperm. Okay, that's a good... In that's an interesting spot to Imperm. Um, hmm. What do? What do? I wish we had Destrudo legal still. That way I could make a level three. Um, but that's not happening. Uh, is it? Destrudo's not coming back anytime soon. Uh, let's see. We can make we can make Saryuja right now. Um, it's just going to be so suboptimal to do so. Um, very, very suboptimal. Or we can make Curious. Making Curious would be very cool right now. I like the idea of making Curious. The dumb block dragon. I like that. Let's do that. Let's do that. We're making curious. We're making curious right off the bat. Imperm has been used. Roar has been used. He has Phantasmate. Sure, that's fine. I hope you draw into Nibiru, good sir. I hope you draw into the Nibiru. Phantasmate is still a fantastic card. Of course. 
I think Phantasmia will be a really, really good card for a long time. So I, I just don't see Lynx falling out of the meta. Um, I'm getting sidetracked, though. That's a completely different topic for a different day. But let's let's see what we want to send. I just want to take a look, a little extra look for any uh, inspiration here. Um, if anything else I might want to send. But I'm really just thinking about dumping Block Dragon. That's like priority number one. We need Block Dragon. 100%. And he has to <laughs> Hope we mill one. I hope we mill one off this. Nope. Damn. Must be nice. Must be nice. Having Imperm, Roar, and DD Crow. But uh, he probably drew that off of... Uh, what's it called? Now we could crash. Uh, we could crash our Curious into that. Phantasme. Um, I think I'm just going to go Battle Phase. Uh, since I think this is going to be a bit of a slower game anyways. And we play the slow game. I think we just play the slow game. Um, or we could drop... Hmm. It's tempting right now to want to drop uh, this Gizmac. I'm going to do it. I'm going to drop the Gizmac right now. I'm going to drop the Gizmac. I want to get this... Uh, I want to get this Bailinx off the field more than anything. I think. I think that's going to be at least correct anyways. Does he have Prohibit Snake? Does not. Main Phase 2. Um, we only have options for... We make Appalooza, but Appalooza is not going to do us too much at 1600 attack, so... Um, and let's see what we banish here. Uh, tour Guide, Graph. At this point, Seer's already in our grave, so it's not making a huge difference. Not too bad as far as Banish is concerned, so let's just pass our turn over there. This is going to be a very simplified game state game, if anything, unless he just top decks the absolute stones, which knowing my luck, he will, but uh, just have to wait and see. All right, so it looks like he has Will, <clears throat> which is good. <laughs> it's a pretty good card, I heard, which means if he has a Will, I mean, he's been able to bring out Foxy regardless, though. He does have a face-up spell. Looking into another Bay Lynx. Using the Relink effect immediately. We get back Roar. Okay. That's fine. Hmm. Man, that DD Crow. That DD Crow, because we had perfectly three Earth targets in our grave for making that curious. Plus whatever else we milled. Um. We milled Seer too, which is kind of funny. I mean, I guess it's okay that we we have all three Gigantes in our grave too. Unlucky, man. Unlucky all across the board. Battle phase. Is he going to crash into the Curious? Be interesting if he does. Crashing into the Curious. Allows us to get back any card. Um... See, Scrap Recycler is eh at this point. Um, Dotscaper is also eh. I really just kind of want to grab Twin Twister. Because, um, like, we can battle phase run over that. And, uh, or we could grab Gigantes as a way to act as a heavy storm. Um, just have a body. Back any card in our grave. This is a really tough decision. When you have a card like Curious to Resolve, it's a very tough decision. Especially in a situation like this where it's literally could decide the game or not. If we add back Twin, um, we can hit the set Roar, which will bait out the negation. Um, it's really up to what we draw at this point, I suppose. Uh, I'm going to add back the Twin. I'm going to add back the Twin. I, I see no reason to not add back the Twin. Everything else seems okay. I just would rather have Twin Twister this, at this point. Um, and that's going to do it first turn. Let's see what we draw. We draw Gallus for turn. That is money right there. That is money. Um, let's see here. Hmm. I'm going to go into battle phase, and that will force Bailinks. Let's go battle phase. 
like I said, that's going to force Baylinx, and then he can't have anything to protect his other cards with. In the Twin Twister. See if he protects. He does protect. So now we go main phase two. I'm gonna burn this twin. I'm gonna target these two. We don't I don't really care too much about the field spell right now. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, then we can use Gizmak here if we really wanted to. Um I mean <sighs> This is, this is such a tough decision to make right now. Oh boy, this is a tough decision. We're both in a very simplified game state, but um, I, I have to clear this Bailing, because I cannot leave this Bailing on this field. Um, I'm going to get rid of Lingaribo. I'm going to get rid of Levier, and I'm also going to get rid of uh, Nat Beast at this point. I don't see a reason in keeping it. Now we're gonna pass there. I'm gonna keep the Gallus. I, I, I Gallus is such a powerful card to have right now, and I just don't want to summon it right now just to burn because I I feel like just burning for the sake of burning him, unless it's gonna burn for a game. Um, there's really no reason to to do it. So I'd rather hold it. So if we draw another level three, um, we have a possible chance at making like a Dante because uh, I think at this point it might be a little too far gone to go for something like Cherubini, um, and try to like start comboing. I just don't think it makes sense. Um. So he has Foxy, that's fine. He also has Will still, but I mean, I think he just has one Bailinx Engrave, as far as Salmon Great cards are concerned. <clears throat> so he can get into Sunlight Wolf if he really wants to. Soul Charge is fun, continue with Soul Charge. Reminds me of Miracle Fertilizer. But a lot of people compare Will to Soul Charge, but never Mir Miracle Fertilizer, which is interesting. Um, Relink, and then he can get back Rage. Okay. Maybe there was a way to possibly end up twin twistering off that will. But like we only had so many things to like bait out the roar with, so I'm not I just I just don't just don't entirely know. Draw edge and sabers. That's really good. Um I'm gonna go so if we go into battle phase here. Oh boy, if we go into battle phase. Um, mm. So many options right now. We can either send three to try and pop, but that's not going to be a good idea because he has Bailings and Graves still. Um, I'm just going to go into battle phase. Because he can't get over our Gizmek right now. He can't get over our Gizmek. I think that's our biggest... Um, thing to take away from this current game state is he cannot get over our Gizmek. Take 650. So now he's definitely within Gallus range. Um, next turn for him, I mean, he can use Foxy again. Very, very scary. Uh, but let's go to main phase two. Hmm. Now that Bailinx has been burned, let's see what's in our extra deck that we could possibly spare. Probably Dingirsu. Uh, probably Appaloosa and probably Cerberus at this point. Uh, so let's go Cerberus. Probably a Saryuja as well. Um, and the Ding. And let's clear that off the field. He's using Rage now, which is good. I think for the most part. So that'll allow us to let whatever we're going to do here go through. We mill block dragon this game over, but we do not mill block dragon. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Um, but let's go ahead and normal summon this. And let's make Dante and mill three. Because um, I there's no reason to make Cherubini here. There's just no reason. Dante, 2,500 defense. This video has almost been going for two hours. Oh, man. I don't know how this video has been going for two hours now. What do we mill? 
Nothing good. Nothing good at all. I don't think we can get Nibiru. We've summoned three times this turn, so we're we're safe from Nibiru, which is a good feeling. Um, I think we have a Seer in our grave, too. Yeah, we have a Seer in our grave, so if that dies, we can Seer Dante loop. Um, and he still has a way to, like, that, that will is still on the board. I, I can't do anything about the will right now. I just can't. Can't do anything about it. Um, couldn't even make uh, Phoenix last turn if we even wanted to. But I think it's just we got to try to win with the simplified game state that we have here. Hope that he can't get over this monster that has more than 2,500 or more than 2,300. Um, just got to hope and hope. So there's the Foxy as expected. I He's out of Baylinxes though at this point. So he can't like link into Baylinks. And then Jack Jaguar or anything back, I don't believe. So yeah. Um, he can definitely make a Sunlight Wolf though and relink Sunlight Wolf to get a card back. Um, add back that Rage. Keeps getting back that Rage, man. Very unfortunate. But we can at least force out Rage um, by putting Dante to attack, uh, milling three, and then shotgunning our... Uh, our Gizmec and punching for m even more damage. Uh, and just once the, I mean, the, the rage won't leave the field, like won't it won't leave the graveyard though. Unfortunately, um, once it once it goes, once they once he uses it, he's leaving that Foxy there though, which is very risky. Um, so he's gonna probably have to link that Foxy off if he doesn't want to just get that like attacked over next turn. Um, because the fact that we can use Gizmek in the battle phase is huge. Um, I imagine he's going to link that off. I would imagine. Um, but if he links it off... Okay, so no, he's going to he's gonna Jaguar. Okay. He's going to Jaguar, man. He's going to go into another Sunlight. He's going to go into double Sunlight. Or he might make Avermax. Which is really unfortunate, because as long as you let this deck... His deck is much better at this point. Um, at slowly gaining resources per turn, because we need... We need block dragon, man. If we could draw a block dragon, that would just be great. We have one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight Earths in our graveyard. Um, it's pretty good. Maybe we'll draw it. Maybe we'll mill it if he lets us mill. Um, he makes Avermax though. Oof, I don't know. Um, I was really hoping that Gallus would burn him for game. To be totally honest, this is going on for a lot longer than I thought it would. A lot longer. Well, he has gotten a way to get over our Dante with the transcode. He did have to relink, but we're gonna get Seer back, which is fine. So that has to start Seer Dante looping, which is fun. Um, but we're in a big predicament now. <laughs> we're in a big predicament. He's gonna have Rage, be able to destroy two since he did relink. Um, ah, uh, man. To Gizmec end phase or to not Gizmec end phase? I don't really think there's a reason to Gizmec end phase at all. Um, still have Bailings engrave. Does not have Bailings engrave. Oh my God! Does not have Bailings engrave. That is good to know. Drawing Twin Twister really doesn't do us any good. <laughs> it really doesn't. As much as I wanted to say it does us a lot of good, it really doesn't. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. It doesn't have Bailings engraved. Yeah, I'm not seeing things. There's no Bailings. No Bailings here. Yes. Summon that, summon that Dante. Please. Summon that Dante. Um, now it really comes down to, uh, <laughs> oh boy, um, yeah, about that. Still has Foxy live, he still has Jaguar, um, but if we don't attack anything, he can't Jaguar, um, but he can still Foxy. Which I don't think gets him that much, but then he can still Sunlight Wolf to reset a card back. Um, 
I am gonna summon Gizmak. As much as I don't want to, I'm gonna summon Gizmak. Hopefully he doesn't have a DD Crow, and I think that DD Crow might have just won him the game. Um, yeah, we're just gonna surrender there. <laughs> we're not drawing anything good, I can guarantee it. Um, but yeah. Unfortunately, we lose 2-0 uh, in this episode of the testing sessions, but the purpose is not to win uh, in testing. Uh, I guess that should be the overall um, theme behind it. That's for anybody out there that's testing. Uh, don't let uh, winning or losing really determine uh, deck building particularly or like whether that should reinforce uh, good deck building choices or not. Mainly... Uh, testing is to just sort of learn things about your deck and learn things about other matchups that you were unfamiliar with. Um, t the, I think my side deck, I think the side deck needs a bit of work uh, with Block Dragon B. I don't really like Twin Twister that much. Um, I'm not really liking it that much. It just doesn't seem like it's high value enough as opposed to maybe having like a third evenly matched in the main deck as well. Um, but uh, overall, the main deck right now for me uh, with this deck is feeling pretty solid. Um, do I want to say some things were probably up to bad luck at some points? Yeah. Um, we had to play through a lot of interruptions at a lot of points. Um, I mean, I think for the most part, pretty much, I think most of the games that we were able to go first, we were able to pull off a, a combo, uh, and able to sort of come back and, you know, win with that combo. But, um, the only thing I've been thinking about possibly doing this deck is maybe bumping up the card count to 44 or so um to reduce chance of drawing bricks um but that's really the only only thing that i would want to do and the only thing i would probably add in um i mean i don't even really know at this point uh what cards i would add in um maybe another gilasaurus uh, maybe some some other crusadia cards uh, i'm not entirely sure but like uh the deck as it stands for the time being, I think is in a decent spot. Um, but I don't know, like I said, if anything, I might bump the deck count up more uh, just to add more extenders. Things that aren't primarily normal summons. Things that are like sort of Gallus and Gilosaurus. Um, things that just sort of help the deck turbo. Probably a third Gilosaurus, if anything. Um, and just, you know, play it from there. Maybe add in Hydra Landers again, but Hydra Lander can just make bad hands so much more worse. But yeah, that's going to do it for this video. This video has gone on for a very, very long time. I appreciate you guys. If you watch the whole thing, please let me know. Um, the next episode probably won't be this long. Um, we had some really long grindy matches against some pretty meta relevant decks. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Share this video with a friend if you, uh, you really did like it that much. Uh, don't forget to uh, check out our sponsors down in the description below and also considering the join button uh, to become a member of the channel. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, we're going to kill Santa. We'll see you guys in the next one.